The ACL is one of several stabilizing ligaments of the knee, and all these ligaments have an attachment on the femur and an attachment on the tibia. And any of those ligaments can tear anywhere along those lengths. They can tear from the femur, in the middle, or from the tibia. Specifically for an ACL, if you have a proximal tear, that means that the ACL has torn directly off of the femur. And in those situations, we can gather up that torn ACL tissue and then directly reattach it to the femur. So location is very important. Proximal tears are very good candidates for ACL repair, whereas mid-substance tears, for example, are typically candidates for an ACL reconstruction. ACL tears are common injuries. If you were to look across uh, the world, we estimate they happen 400,000 or 500,000 times a year. And so very few of us would not know someone if not affected ourselves by an ACL tear. So think of it like a, a, a train track that you lose the section of train. If, you're, if it's straight ahead, you're, you may bounce a little bit when you go over. But if you're going around a turn and you're missing a section of train track, you're going to derail and the train's going to get smashed up. Same thing with your knee. If you have an ACL injury, you may be able to walk forward and backward, but you try to turn, your knee goes out of place and you end up damaging other structures. The vast majority of athletes who sustain an ACL injury will end up having surgery. While there are a subset of athletes who can get by without surgery, such as those that are pure runners, for example, most athletes participating in cutting or contact or pivoting activities, including most of the sports that a lot of us participate in, soccer, football, basketball, skiing, snowboarding, etc., will undergo ACL surgery. The reason it gets so much attention, it is one of those ligaments that, at least for years, has eluded us in its ability to heal. And in that regard, it can leave our knee rendered unstable, and also in its absence can lead to a predictable pattern of developing arthritis. And it's for that reason that ACL tears have appropriately received so much attention to get people back to their life, to recreational sport, and hopefully prevent this progression towards arthritis.